Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we got a quick uh, weights, measurements, specs, unboxing video on this DeWalt 5 and 3 8 circular saw. This is a 12 volt extreme model, which is the Delta Charlie Sam 512 B is in Bravo. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Probably also going to be showing you guys the 12 volt brushed Milwaukee as well because it's the same size saw. And I'll see you guys there. Uh, so today is November uh, 27th. It's a Saturday, 2021. Just figured I'd let you guys know that. It's a few days after Thanksgiving. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. What is up everybody? How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. All right, so this is the new, it's new to me. It's also new to the uh, 12 volt extreme subcompact series line that DeWalt makes. Um, this is the 5 and 3 8 which is the exact same size as the Milwaukee um, brushed, but this one is brushless. Um, I do have the Milwaukee. It was actually, the Milwaukee is one of my most used um, saws, to be honest. I think the Milwaukee may be in the closet. Um, we'll grab it in a little bit. So we're gonna just pop these off real quick. Get those off, make life a little easier. So this is Delta Charlie Sam 512 Bravo. I'll bring you guys in closer, there you go. Um, this is the new 12 volt. Um, now, all of the boxes at the Lowe's, those are the best box that I could find. The tape, the lip isn't even even. So here, you can see it's actually even. The two pieces of cardboard are pushed together. But on this end, they're overlapped um, by about, I don't know, three-eighths of an inch. Um, but this was the best-looking box that they had. The rest of them were just crushed. Um, information on this guy. So on the backs, on the back right here, um, no load speed. Let me grab the camera, kind of tilt it, bring you guys in a little. You guys can pause and uh, possibly zoom here if you want. Uh, no load speed, 3600 RPMs, blade diameter is 5 and 3 eighths. Bezel, uh, bevel capacity, not bezel, but bevel capacity is 0 to 50 degree, which is pretty nice. Um, arbor size is 3 8 10 millimeter. Depth of cut at 45 is 1 and a quarter inches, 31 millimeter. Depth of cut at exactly 90 degrees is 1 and 3 quarter. Um, so this style saw, 5 and 3 8 saw, is good for, you know, 2 by 4s max. Um, tool weight, tool only is 4.9 pounds. It's got a 3 year limited warranty, 1 year free service, a 90 day money back guarantee like DeWalt always does. <clears throat> Let's pop the tape on this decently not mangled box like the rest of them that were at the store. I also picked up the bandsaw, the 12 volt bandsaw that just came out which is sitting right there. A little sneak peek for you guys. Did it not cut? I swear it cut it. May not have actually cut it. May have only cut the sides. All right. We can get out of the box. box instructions are on the side the box is empty all right 
Looks like it's in one piece. Does have a blade at the bottom. Here's a little DeWalt blade. I'm more than likely, this is a 16 tooth blade, carbide tooth. I'm more than likely going to put my Diablo blade on it. it. Does have a vacuum attachment. It has a depth gauge. nice how this box, you actually have to fold the box up. You can see it actually folds. Okay, not to hit the camera. Why don't you come out? Get out of your home. There it goes. All right, there's the saw. Got it out the cardboard. <clears throat> oh, let's see what the box said. Um, I didn't even read that. Let me put the saw over here. All right, so the box, let's see what the box says, what it comes with. Includes <coughs> DCF. Uh, DCS 512 538 136 millimeter circular saw dust chute rip guide. That's what this is a rip guide. I might have said it was um, a depth guide. Um, and I apologize. Uh, rip guide, blade, and blade change wrench. I'm assuming the blade change wrench, yep, the blade change wrench is on the tool. Now, the only main difference between this one and the Milwaukee one I have is the Milwaukee. This is plastic. The guard, the blade guard is plastic on this guy. Where on the Milwaukee, the blade guard is metal. But it's not <coughs> too big of a big deal. It's kind of nice that it comes with the, the rip guide. It goes right there. That's where the rip guide goes. Um, it's got a little slot right here and a knob for it. I do like this style lever a little bit better. It does have a rafter hook, which is also nice. It does have a metal blade stop. Loosen this a little bit, slide the rip guide out. It has zero, 10, 15, 22.5, 30, and 45, and it's got slots in between. And it does have not just this piece is numbered, but this actually has black numbers on it. 10, 5, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. Uh, 50 right there is where it stops so you can actually just line 45 with the 45 right there that's 45 and 45 so that's nice it goes all the way down to 5 Very nice. Back, you slide it up towards the motor housing. <clears throat> the back it is zero, half, one inch, and one and five eighths depth. Slide this back towards the base, it locks in.
The tool is back here. The tool is actually in the back of the tool, which is very nice. Very, very nice to see that. Boop. There it is. This is the, the dust attachment that you can actually click um, the dust bag that you can just twist and lock. Um, DeWalt makes a lot of those accessories. So this guy right here that comes with the, the sanders. You just pop this on and then you twist and it locks. You also have the vacuum style attachment version of this as well where you just slide it on, twist, and it locks your hose onto the tool. Um, so this is, it's nice to see that they're still continuing with this quick coupler lock system. That's always nice to see. Um, looks like we got some screws in here. That goes, looks like it only goes on one way. There's a little metal tab. So on this side, on the back, there's a little metal tab right here. Right there. See if you guys can see it with this light. There you go, this little metal tab right there. clicks on <clears throat> and then you just insert the screws there like so um, we're gonna we're gonna weigh it without the dust attachment piece there you go Um, and I do have, I only have two batteries, so it's not going to be too big of a deal. They make two amp, uh, 1.5 amp hour, two, I think they make a 1.5 amp hour still. That might be the old black and black batteries. Uh, two amp hour and I have a five amp hour. I don't have the three amp hour. Uh, the twos come with all the kits and when you have 12 twos, <laughs> you really don't need um, threes to be honest. But... Right, so we're gonna move these two batteries over here. The brick guide, the dust boot. All right. Go back to zero. Okay. So tool by itself. Oops, some of you guys aren't far enough down. Well, it does balance like that. That's nice. Four pounds, 9.1 ounces. Um, what does the box say? The box says four pounds, nine, 4.9 pounds. So that's pretty accurate. Four pounds, 4.9 pounds would be four pounds, nine ounces. So it's a little bit over. Just push weight on it and let it recalculate. Four pounds, 9.6, 9.7, 9 9.6. <clears throat> with a two amp hour, and this is fully charged. See what it weighs with a two amp hour. Five pounds, 1.9 ounces. Uh, two, five pounds, two ounces exactly is what it sold it at with a two amp hour. Let's see what it is with a five amp hour. Boom. So five pounds, 8.5 ounces. It's not bad. Uh, it's not bad on weight at all. Uh, let me go grab the Milwaukee.
So the Milwaukee is definitely a hefty saw. Um, I do have a, a Diablo blade on the on the, the Milwaukee. Um, this is the Milwaukee. Like I said, it's got a magnesium guard, but the Milwaukee with um, without a battery. Milwaukee without a battery. It's five pounds, 9.8 ounces. Um, so I don't even think the DeWalt is that hefty um, without, with the five amp hour battery, to be honest. Um, this guy is heavy. Um, the Milwaukee is well built. Um, I have used the Milwaukee. Oh, this one, this one is brushless. Okay. I was pretty sure this, oh, this guy is a Milwaukee fuel. I was pretty positive this was brushed. Uh, okay, so I got two brushless 12 volt circular saws now. This one does have the blade wrench on it as well. Um, bet you can probably use this rip guide on the Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. no, it's a little thin. It's meant for a, a, a standard full size rip guide. Um, the Milwaukee doesn't have a dust chute um, option. It just comes out the bottom. But um, I grab a couple different batteries and we'll just weigh it with a couple different batteries. So I have a two for Milwaukee. I have a three, four, and a six um, X, XR battery or XC battery. So six, four, three and a two and this two weighs 6.2 ounces so the milwaukee weighs 5.97 ounces let's move these batteries over here out of our way the moment so 5.97 without a battery six pounds exactly uh, six pounds and one gram so 6.01 ounces or six pounds 0 0.1 ounces with a two amp hour milwaukee is definitely a lot heavier um, so here is a let's grab a three xc battery that's oh, heavy with that see if we could balance it a little bit mm. that's the best we're gonna be able to do like that so it is six it's six pounds 8.3 ounces with a three amp hour so this guy is definitely really heavy. Here's a four amp hour. Six pounds, 8.2 ounces with a four. And here is a six. Is six pounds, 8.9 ounces with a six amp hour. Um, uh, the switch is a little bit bigger on the lockout. This one does have a light. This is what the Milwaukee sounds like. It does have a fast break on it. We're gonna put the Milwaukee over here down on the side. Um, move all the Milwaukee batteries. I was just using them to show you guys. The DeWalt with a five. The DeWalt definitely feels a lot lighter and even kind of more balanced, to be honest. It is five pounds, 8.5 ounces. So the DeWalt is almost almost a pound lighter, maybe a little more. Um, the DeWalt does also have a light. Raw, there, 
right there. Where my finger is. Um, the DeWalt's a really nice bright light. This is what it sounds like with no blade on it. Sounds pretty smooth in my opinion. Um, definitely smoother than I was expecting it to sound. Um, I am not going to be putting this DeWalt blade on it though. I do have a Diablo blade. I actually bought a while back. I bought two of these. You can see this exact blade is on that Milwaukee right there. I swore up and down that was just a Milwaukee M12 brush. That's fuel. Never realized that. So this is a um, 18 tooth blade where this one is a 16 tooth blade. Um, it's a fast framing construction blade. Um, this is for corded or cordless. Um, it's a El Tico by Diablo high density carbide. This blade is made in Italy. I love, 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 love these blades. They work amazing. And you can see I never even used the Milwaukee blade that came on that saw that I just showed you. That saw right there. This is the Milwaukee blade that came with it. This is a 16 tooth also. So 16 tooth is a common blade. So now I have two 16 tooth blades, one Milwaukee, one DeWalt that I'll eventually use when I need, need them. We're gonna end up putting this guy on there. Let me check the tooth pattern. Okay, so this, some Diablo blades, you actually have to flip them where the, the words are on the inside um, for certain saws. So this blade, the original blade you get with the tool will tell you the direction. So this blade spins clockwise. Um, so does this blade. It spins clockwise. This blade will allow up to 14,500 RPMs um, for the Diablo. The De DeWalt takes 7,000 RPMs. So these will definitely spin a lot faster. Take the battery out. <clears throat> so we accidentally cut our fingers off. I like how easy it is to access the blade guard. For me, it's a lot, it's a lot more roomy right here where the blade guard is. See how much room there is? You could fit a, an entire hand through here if you wanted to. Um, the, the Milwaukee is quite tight. That's um, one thing I don't like about the Milwaukee is it's hard to get um, to it, to the blade stop. Righty, Lucy lefty tidy for this bolt because if this bolt was righty tidy it would loosen every time the blade was turning clockwise so this bolt is a right hand thread Let me grab this here there's some oil on both of these as well Oh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to use that blade. Oh. DeWalt, you are tricky little dudes. Looks like I have to use this blade. The lip is a lot smaller on here. The Milwaukee was that way too. Oh, that's right. I have to grab the other pallets. I don't even remember where I put those. Probably somewhere in this drawer. The these Diablo blades actually came with um, with the different collets. So I'm gonna put the Dewalt blade on here for now, um, and I will I will find those collets. Um, they look like this. I don't exactly remember exactly where they are. They're somewhere in the toolbox, somewhere. Um, 
you know, I need to go to the store anyways. I can always pick another one of these blades up. Um, and I'll show you guys real quick. It says, um, right here at the bottom, it comes with 10 millimeter Milwaukee DeWalt, half inch and a five eighths. Um, so, I will have to find that guy later. I just don't want the video to be too long. It's around here somewhere. It's in the toolbox somewhere. Actually, I think I might know where it is. I think I put it in with the, with the <coughs> circular saw and chainsaw wrenches. Because I put all my wrenches in my wrench drawer, so it doesn't matter if it's for die grinders or not. these right here <coughs> these go to the this might actually be it I don't know these go to the Milwaukee um, cutoff tool so I see these right here top face flange three sixth I think these are probably all for the cutoff tool. Yeah. So these these are all the pieces from the cutoff tools that I turned into belt sanders, finger belt sanders. Three eighths. Yeah. All these flanges are specifically for that. That's why they're in this bag. That's no bueno not gonna work. I could have swore they were in this drawer. Because I'll show you guys this is this is where I put all my my blade wrenches and stuff. So these are are all the tools. I have a bunch of them. Um, I've got a ton of them sitting here. A bunch right here. These right here. These are all for the die grinders. Then I have these uh, for, these are for the Milwaukee little handheld hatchet, a chainsaw. These are for a couple grinders. These are, this is for my large chainsaw as well as, uh, this is for my still chainsaw and my still um, combi system weed eater. I could have swore I had them in here. I'll probably just have to buy a couple more of those blades. They're only like seven, eight bucks. These are all my grinder spanners in the back. Uh, I could have swore they would be in that drawer. They're not. The only other drawer they would have been in is this one because those blades used to be in this drawer. These are, my drawer has my, um, Circular saw blade guides and stuff like that. These right here are my circular saw blade guides. I have solder in this drawer. Jake saw blades, spaddle blades, and then I have oscillating tool blades in here. No. Well, I have to. Um, I'll have to find them later then. Um, when you buy these blades, you do the five and three eighths blades. You do get these three adapters. 10 millimeters for Milwaukee and DeWalt. As you can tell, this Milwaukee blade and the DeWalt blade have the exact same hole. Um, half inch and five eighths. So I'm just gonna put this blade back in here for now. <clears throat> Trust me, I will be going and getting another one if I can't find them. Um, let's bring that scale back in here so we can weigh it with a blade on it. And then we'll weigh it with the guide. All right, so. I'm gonna 
grab the tool. Slide the tool back in here. Okay. So blade, no battery, it's four pounds, 13.7 ounces with a with a two amp hour is five pounds, 5.4 ounces. And with a five amp hour, and all of these are fully charged. It's nice that these actually stay on when you push the button. With the blade, it's five pounds, 12.2 ounces, so almost 16 pounds. And then if we grab the guard, more than likely I'm gonna leave the dust boot on it anyways. screwdriver and we'll just thread these in real quick and you guys just snug them up it's just plastic going into aluminum you don't need to heat man it snug it up till it feels like it's it's not going any further further Alright, so with the 5 amp hour and the dust guard, or the hose attachment, the vacuum attachment guard, it is 5 pounds, 13.3 ounces. So the two screws and the dust chute add 13 grams or so, not too bad. Um, and then I will slide the rip guide on here. We'll just lock that down real quick. It is six pounds, 0 0.5 ounces with a rip guide. So this saw with a blade, a five amp hour battery, and a rip guide is eight, almost nine ounces lighter. You can see that, right? Six pounds, 0 0.5 ounces. It's, it's almost nine ounces lighter than that Milwaukee with a six amp hour. So it's definitely lighter. It feels nice in the hand. The other reason I picked this saw up is a lot of these 12 volt DeWalt tools my wife likes using because they're smaller, more compact. They fit her hands better. Um, and they're a lot more comfortable for me to use. Um, it does have nice bold. Zero degree is this line, 45 degree is this line right there. Uh, it's a very nicely well-made saw. Uh, I don't really mind that the guard is plastic. Um, but this is what it sounds like with a blade. It stops pretty fast. It actually stops about just as fast as the Milwaukee does. Let me grab the Milwaukee real quick. Milwaukee also doesn't have a rafter hook and the DeWalt the Milwaukee they put the the blade guard literally this way instead of on top so it's it makes it awkward you gotta like hold the back of the motor housing and push it like that just to lock it in the Milwaukee does have a lot bigger nut um, or bolt the bolt actually has a socket head and an Allen head so you can actually use a socket to get this one off, um, as well as the DeWalt, it's just a lot smaller. But this ring right here, this off, on ring, this is what came with the DeWalt blade, or the Diablo blade, I should say. Um, but they're both nice saws. Personally, in my opinion, I'm not gonna really measure the saws. I can, but um, 
Yeah, let me grab a measuring tape. Front of the plate to the dust section without the guard or without the attachment. It's about eight and a half inches. All the way to the end is 11 inches from here to the very back of the battery. The five amp hour battery is 13 and a half inches. And with a two amp hour, I don't even think I measured, measured it on the Milwaukee, to be honest. It's 13 and a quarter inches with that one. So with the five. It's 14 and one quarter there. Uh, but all in all, it's really nice. I do like that the handle is a lot skinnier than the Milwaukee because the Milwaukee has the torpedo style batteries that go in the handle, so this is a lot thinner. Um, You can tell that the brake works extremely well on this saw because you can hear the blade go Ding. when the blade stops spinning. It's a good saw. Um, this one, this Milwaukee, um, has served me well. Um, I, I'm not getting rid of it. I like the Milwaukee. Um, works well. about both stop about the same this one does have a little bit heavier guard so this one I would feel more comfortable safety wise this guard but this guard is it is pretty loose um, but this one has it's got scratches all over it it's been well used it's got paint on the bottom of it from you know me marking permanent marker and stuff on um, on several of the um, tools um, or uh, projects I've used it on. Um, I, I like marking wood with permanent marker because um, when you when you drag a permanent marker across a line on wood, you know, like your measuring tape or whatever, if you hold the marker on the wood in each spot a little bit longer as you're moving, it will literally suck the ink out of the permanent marker into the wood and you get a darker, easier to see line. Um, some people prefer pencils. I do use pencils on certain projects. I do think it's pretty nice of DeWalt to give it a, a rip guide. Um, Milwaukee didn't come with a rip guide. Um, the DeWalt also has a rafter hook where the Milwaukee does not have a rafter's hook. Um, that's another plus to me is it has a rafter's hook. I like the rafter's hook. Um, but that is going to be it for this video, guys. Just a quick video. I do appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video, as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. Hope the video was helpful. We'll definitely do some more videos on this. Um, I like the Milwaukee. I've been using it for a few years now, just ripping two by fours, um, and it works great. Um, I picked this one up mainly because my wife likes how, how light it was. She picked it up. She's like, ooh, I like that. Um, and I said, you know what, let's grab it. Uh, my, my wife will use it if she needs to build something for her garden. I will use it um, to, to play around with it and see which one I like better because I want to give you guys an opinion between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt. I can tell you the Milwaukee is, is a brick house. It's a lot heavier. Um, I didn't even realize it was fuel, to be honest. Um, I could have swore it was um, brushed because I got it several years ago. But, um, you know, 
give this one a try. Maybe I'll bring my wife on and, and have her give an opinion on this saw and any of the other um, DeWalt tools if you guys would like to see that. Um, all of these tools in this drawer my wife uses um, except for this uh, impact wrench, this impact wrench, this impact wrench, the 840, the new 840 impact driver, the 850 impact driver, and the 887 impact driver. These are all on top. They are all um, 20 volt tools, but everything on the bottom underneath are 12 volt tools. So my wife uses majority of everything in that drawer. Um, maybe if you guys, you know, you guys let me know in the comments. You guys want uh, my wife to use all these tools um, like she normally does, and you guys want me to bring her on and, and, you know, have her give you her opinion on these DeWalt tools, let me know in the comments, and I'll, I'll talk to my wife and see if she would like to jump on the video with me, um, or at least give her opinion. But that is all I got for you guys today. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. Go check out all the affiliate links like I mentioned earlier. Um, appreciate all of you guys stopping by, hanging out with me today. Um, I do like that this one has a vacuum attachment where the Milwaukee doesn't. So that's another plus for me. It's also the DeWalt proprietary slide-on lock. So even if you wanted to, you could just put one of these um, uh, sander bags on boom it's locked now you have dust um, extraction without even a vacuum that's another feature I like and this came with the sir the orbital sander I have as well as the sheet sander I have two of these bags I also have the the attachment that you literally just lock it on and it will hook to your um, DeWalt makes the attachments. You guys will uh, have probably seen it on my channel. If I can find it, I'll link it here. Um, here's the other bag um, for the other sander. Um, but they actually have the one where you slide it on, lock it on, and then you just hook slide the hose in it. Um, uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. You guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Excuse me. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!